Welcome back dreamers. Today is week 12 of my AMD trading challenge where I track one company for the next 52 weeks to see if keeping track of one company, all of their news, doing market analysis on them every week, keeping track of their earnings report and also of their competitors. I'm going to see if I narrow in on just one company. Will it help me be a profitable trader? This is week 12 of my AMD trading challenge. I'm using the Robinhood platform to do all of my trades. If you guys want to sign up for Robinhood, the link is down in the description. If you sign up using my link, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock just for signing up. So here we are on AMD. AMD is at $76.36. This is probably one of the lowest that we have seen AMD over the last couple of weeks. If we take a look at the week, AMD is down 2.24%, down $1.75 from the beginning of the week. If we scroll down, I have 49 shares worth of AMD, worth $3,738.70, with an average cost of $35.36. My total return is $2,006.27 and it's around 14.26% of my portfolio. So I did not buy any shares of AMD this week. I'm glad I didn't because it's down 2.24% and it's a reason I didn't buy AMD this week and it's actually down. But this upcoming week, make sure that you guys stick to the end to see the market analysis because I will be buying some AMD this week at a certain price point. So make sure that you stick to the end so you can understand completely on the moves that I'm gonna make this week on AMD. So that's my AMD portfolio. Let's go on ahead and dive into the news for AMD this week to, to see if any other news coming out on AMD will help raise the price on AMD. So let's go ahead and dive into the news. Here we are in our first news article. It says that AMD rising continues to dominate the CPU market, but Intel is clawing its way back. So as you guys can see right here, AMD now holds around 84% share of the CPU market. Now we kind of seen that coming if you guys have been keeping track of my previous weeks on the AMD challenge because Apple completely did away with their deal with Intel. So they're no longer using Intel CPUs inside of their Apple products. None of their MacBook Pros, none of their MacBooks or iMacs. They're completely getting rid of their deal with Intel. So we all seen that their market value, their market share was going to drop. Also, Intel has been delayed their seven nanometer chips and AMD is the only chip market on the block with seven nanometer chips. And it is a dramatic difference between the 10 nanometer chips and the seven nanometer chips that AMD is using. So Intel got delayed that. So that is why Intel market price have been dropping week after week after week. But they're doing some things, they got some things in measure. Intel, they got some tricks up that sees what they have been doing. Let's scroll down to where I can show you guys. The Comet Lake chips that Intel are coming out with is the 1070K. That is the one that you get the most bang for your buck. It's for the gamers, it's for the uh, computer editors, it's for, it's pretty much the all around best CPU for the, for the price of your money. And that is the Comet Lake i7 1070K. But what they're doing with their ninth gen chips, their i9-9900K, is that they're dropping the price significantly on those products, the last gen. They're dropping the price by almost 25%. Right here, they used to sell for 530 euros, but now they're selling for 400 euros, around a 25% drop of the price of their last gen. Now, Intel don't usually do that on their last gen, but to drop the price, you're gonna be getting one of their last gen best CPUs for 25% off of what the previous was selling for compared to their new 10th gen um, CPUs. So what's really going on is that Intel is selling more of their 9th gen CPUs, the 9900K, than they are selling of their new 10th gen CPUs of the 10700K. So they're trying to drop their price in order to hang around and stick with 
AMD when it comes to the CPU market. So what they're trying to do, they're trying to market their last gen best CPU at a great price to try to compete with AMD new centimeter, uh, seven nanometer chips that are about to come out. In the next news article, we got some dates on when the Zen 3 in the Radeon 2 is coming out. So the Zen 3 is gonna be announced on October 8th. And a couple weeks later, the Radeon is gonna be announced on the October, it's going to be announced on October 28th. Let's scroll down and take a look. So on October 8th at noon Eastern, the company will be presenting the Zen 3 based Ryzen desktop processors, that's their CPUs. And then just a couple weeks later on the 28th, they're gonna be presenting their Radeon 2 GPUs. So here are the dates right here, 10 8 at 12 and then 10 28 at 12 p.m. Eastern. So they're very excited, Dr. Lisa Su, they're very excited to kick off their new journey for Zen 3. And then they're gonna, they're gonna have a delight for gamers on the 28th when it comes to the Radeon GPUs that they're gonna be releasing their 6000 series. So that's about it. Look for some big upcoming news in October for AMD. It is September right now, so it might be a good time to start loading up on AMD if you think they're gonna have an amazing presentation and come out with an amazing price point. Uh, that might be a great opportunity to get in right now while the price is kinda low in order to have a the maximum gain come late October. But that's just, you know, that's only if they have a great presentation with some great price points that they're gonna come out with. They seem very confident in their products. I'm a believer in AMD, so hopefully this is a great chance for us to get in right now. So let's go ahead and dive into the market analysis so that we can see my plans on AMD this week. All right, here we are on Think or Swim, the TD Ameritrade platform that I use. Right now, we're on the four hour, 180 day chart right here. That means every bar that you guys see is worth four hours in the trading day over the last 180 days. So if you guys know, I drew out these lines a couple weeks ago and so far it's staying true. This line that I drew out last week and the week before, in the week before, before, I said that it was gonna be a sign of support. And right now it's looking at its current support right now around $76.34. And let's zoom in a little bit more because last week I said right here when it bounced off its old support that it was gonna try to stay true to the 180 day simple moving average, which is the green line. And it did for the most part, but then it ended up breaking back down to retest the support line. Now this is major for me because if it's retesting the support line right here, and it's still low on the RSI. If it continues to bounce back up, I'm gonna take this swing trade from around 76, $77, if it comes up to 77, and take it all the way back up to around the green line for a percent gain of around 5%. Now, if I wanna hold on to it for a little bit longer, I will hold on to it all the way back up to this old resistance line, which is this one I drew out at around a 12%, uh, uh, yes, around a 12% gain over the next couple of weeks. But that's if AMD starts to do good. If you guys are very conscious, wait for wait for AMD to break above the green line right here and then see that it's trading in the upward trend and then get in and you can still get a 6% gain. Or if you guys just want to get in early right now, you can if you want to and have a 12, a 12 to 13% gain opportunity. But it could fall down just a little bit. Let's draw out a line if AMD was too far. Let's draw out a little support line, another support line, this one right here. We're gonna draw that one out. It touches, it touches, and then it could pull back all the way from around $76 and could come all the way back down to around $71, $70 even and touches other uptrend support line that I just drew out. So I'm gonna keep that there for the next couple of weeks to see how that plays out. If it does back down, if it does bounce back down to here, I'm gonna pick up more AMD than I expected to pick up. But if it started to recover right here, I'm going to ride it all the way up to around a 5% gain. And if the, any more news come out during the week, I might hold on to it until a 12 to 13 percent gain over the next couple of weeks let's just zoom in a little bit more on the one hour 20 day chart okay so this is the line that we drew out it's the same line so it is straddling around this line right here right at the 76 
uh, $75, $50 price point. Hopefully over the next couple of days, hopefully over the next couple of days, it will uptrend. And then I'll probably sell it when it start getting around the 180 day simple moving average on the one hour 20 day chart to see if that would act as a resistance and then I might sell. But I am trying to get a little bit of profit this week because I haven't took profit in AMD over the last week or two. So I'm going to get in a trade, but I only take good trade setups and this is looking like a good trade setup for me. So this might be a good buying opportunity, especially now that the MACD might be crossing over pretty soon and it's oversold on the RSI on the one hour chart. So that is my technical analysis, a little quick technical analysis on AMD this week. All right, guys, if you're liking this series, I asked for 100 thumbs up on the last video and you guys killed it. So maybe this week we could get 150, 150 thumbs up on this video. It really lets me know that you guys are enjoying the series. And if you're taking any trades on AMD, leave them down in the description and let me know what kind of profits or losses that you guys are taking um, while watching this challenge and if it's helping you out at all. And also, if you don't want to miss out on any of the AMD series, make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.